Greetings, dear viewers. Today we have some truly extraordinary news to share with you. News that is bound to have a profound impact on the lives of our beloved seniors and disabled citizens. We are going to talk about Bowie Bernie's new bill, which has successfully passed and promises a remarkable $400 increase in benefits for Social Security recipients. SSI, SSDI recipients and VA receiving benefits through the Social Security Administration. This isn't just a raise and benefits. It's a ray of hope for millions. A lifeline for those who have long awaited relief. We will discuss how this monumental race will affect you or your loved ones. Discussing everything from the potential timeline for implementation to the specific eligibility criteria. You may be surprised to learn that the amount of benefits you receive isn't set in stone. It can fluctuate based on various life changes. These changes encompass shifts in employment status, marital status, fluctuations in income, or even changes in your living arrangements. Each of these factors has the potential to significantly alter the benefits you're entitled to under the social security system. The key takeaway here is that it's imperative to keep the Social Security Administration SSA informed of these updates. Failing to do so could result in receiving payments that are far from accurate. Imagine the scenario you experience a major life change, such as a marriage or a change in your employment status, but you forget to notify the SSA. This oversight can lead to underpayment or overpayment of your benefits which can create financial instability and undue stress for you or your loved ones. But that's not the only aspect of social security benefits we need to discuss today. There's also the potential for administrative errors to come into play. In some cases, the SSA may make an error in their calculations and believe that you've been overpaid. When this happens, they might request the excess money back. Typically, they'll give you a 30-day window to repay it. This can catch recipients off guard and add an unexpected financial burden. However, there's a glimmer of hope in this situation. If you believe that the SSA has made a mistake and that you're not actually overpaid, you have the option to submit a request for reconsideration. This mechanism allows you to appeal the SSA's decision and seek a resolution to the discrepancy. Shifting gears a bit, let's explore something that can positively impact your financial situation. The Earned Income Tax Credit, EITC. This government initiative aims to provide essential financial assistance to low- and moderate-income workers. In 2020, one nearly 25 million families received over $60 billion in EITC credits, with an average payment of $2,411. This extra financial support can make a substantial difference in the lives of individuals and families, helping them meet essential expenses, support their loved ones, and achieve greater financial stability. For the 2022 tax year, the EITC can be a substantial windfall for those who qualify. Families with three or more children may be eligible for a credit worth as much as $6,935. Even if you don't have children, you can still claim a maximum credit of $560 for the 2022 tax year. Although this amount is down from the $1,502 available in the 2021 tax year, it's imperative to recognize that within the framework of SSI, you possess the essential right to challenge most determinations and decisions, including any alterations to your benefit amount. This signifies that you hold the power to request the SSA to conduct a thorough re-evaluation of your case, whether driven by a suspicion of error or simply the desire for a comprehensive review. What adds an intriguing layer to this process is the SSA's commitment to fairness and accuracy. When you take the crucial step of initiating an appeal, the agency will scrutinize your entire determination or decision, even those aspects that may have initially worked in your favor. This holistic approach ensures that your benefits align precisely with your circumstances and needs reinforcing the principles of fairness and social justice. Now, let's transition our focus to a fundamental aspect of social security benefits the accrual of social security credits. To be eligible for these benefits, you must meet the essential requirement of engaging in what the Social Security Administration terms enough work. This concept is pivotal, as it serves as the foundation upon which your eligibility hinges. The SSA defines enough work as the accumulation of 40 social security credits over the course of your working life. As we delve into the specifics, it's worth noting that for the year 2022, each individual earns one social security credit for every $1.510 in covered earnings. These credits represent a crucial aspect of the social security system, serving as a measuring stick for eligibility and the level of benefits you can ultimately receive. Understanding this intricate credit system is not just a matter of financial literacy. It's an essential step for anyone looking to secure their financial future and make informed decisions about their retirement and disability benefits. Let's begin with child support rules an area where variability reigns supreme. It's crucial to recognize that child support regulations can differ significantly from state to state within the United States. This diversity can sometimes lead to complexities for individuals trying to grasp the rules governing their particular circumstances. 
The key takeaway here is that child support garnishments from your social security benefits are subject to specific percentages depending on your situation. If you are supporting another child, the maximum garnishment allowed is 50 of your social security benefit. However, if you do not have this additional responsibility, that percentage can increase to 60%. The twist comes when support payments are significantly overdue, with the garnishment percentage potentially reaching as high as 65. These variations emphasize the importance of understanding the specific rules that apply to your situation, especially when child support is a part of your financial landscape. Now let's pivot to the distinction between SSI and SSDI, Supplemental Security Income SSI and Social Security Disability Insurance. SSDI may share some similarities, but they also possess distinct characteristics. One notable difference is how they handle garnishments. SSI, aimed at providing financial assistance to low-income individuals who are disabled, aged, or blind, is protected from garnishments. In contrast, SSDI, which provides benefits to those who have a work history and become disabled, follow similar rules to regular social security benefits. This means that SSDI payments can be subject to garnishments like child support or other financial obligations. Now, here's an eye-opener for SSI beneficiaries. The Social Security Administration possesses the authority to access and review their bank accounts at any time. This provision, as outlined in the Code of Federal Regulations, requires individuals to grant the SSA permission to request their financial records. Furthermore, this permission extends to anyone whose income and resources may be interconnected with their SSI eligibility. It's a crucial aspect to be aware of, as maintaining compliance with these regulations is pivotal for maintaining SSI eligibility. T's vital to recognize that the decision to remarry can bring about substantial changes in your financial landscape, particularly in the context of your SSI payments. The driving factor behind these changes is your new spouse's income and resources, which can significantly alter the amount you receive from SSI. Here's a fundamental point to grasp if both you and your new spouse are active SSI recipients. Your individual SSI payment rates will undergo a transformation, shifting from the standard individual rate to what's referred to as a couple's rate. This transition reflects the fact that SSI is designed to provide financial support to those with limited income and resources. Therefore, when two individuals in the same household are eligible for SSI, it's presumed that their combined resources can support their living expenses more effectively than if they were living independently. Now let's dive into the nitty-gritty of how this couple's rate is calculated. To determine the SSI benefit amount a couple is eligible to receive, the Social Security Administration SSA takes into account their combined countable income. This includes not only their earned income, but also unearned income such as pensions, social security benefits, and any other financial resources available to both individuals within the household. Once this combined income is precisely calculated, it is then subtracted from the federal benefit rate, which serves as a baseline for determining SSI payments. The resulting amount is then divided equally between the couple, ensuring that both individuals have access to their respective shares of the SSI benefits. Importantly, this division ensures that each member has the financial support they need, while discouraging any financial discrepancies within the couple's shared income. Thank you for joining me, your go-to channel for all things stimulus checks and personal finance tips. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.